Hey guys, I got an email recently asking me to review a drawing tablet, a Galmon S620, and I accepted. So here I am, reviewing said tablet, or at this point in the video, unboxing said tablet. The shipping was really fast. It arrived within a few days of ordering and got here without any damage. In the box there was the tablet, the stylus, the USB cord, some pen nibs, an instruction pamphlet, and an adapter for the USB cord, so you could connect the tablet to an Android phone if you wanted to. The stylus in particular is really nice to use. I have a thing about textures, and the soft material they put on the main grip of the pen is perfect to hold without, you know, having any slipping. The texture of the tablet itself is very nice too. I'm used to drawing directly under my laptop screen as it's a touch screen, but the tablet has a coarser texture that better simulates paper. I'm sure there's an artistic benefit to this as well, but for me personally, I like it simply because it feels nice to draw on. Back to that part about me being used to drawing directly on the screens. Yeah, that'll be very apparent once we get to the drawing part if we're not already there. I don't actually know. I'm currently reading off of the script. Anyways, I don't have the muscle memory to use this type of tablet effectively, despite how well it works. I quickly learned that I wasn't going to get clean lines with this drawing, so I ended up going with a more painterly approach. I started by making some thumbnails to determine what I wanted the subject of the piece to be. I debated between Scourge with his younger self, Scourge staring down Tiger Star, or Hawk Frost being Hawk Frost. I went with Hot Frost and decided to do a redraw of him from my part that I did for the Devil's Train map a few years ago. It was hosted by Seer. I took a screenshot of the frame I wanted to redraw and dug up my old interpretation of Sagittarius' design for the character. A little ways into the sketch, the pen pressure stopped working. This was fixed easily by closing and reopening the drawing program. How However, I paused recording to do this and forgot to turn it back on until after I put down the base colors. Oh well, that's the boring part anyways, right? This way we can get right to the shading. This was really fun to draw and I hope you all enjoy watching me struggle with colors for the rest of the video.
Thank you.